Oh, good morning or afternoon or evening, middle of the night. Maybe you've disconnected from the concept of time. You're just living free. Uh, welcome to Coffee with Paul and Joe. Today I've got some kombucha, which is not, it's not GT's. This is brewed by one of my yoga teachers. And she gave it to me. So I what did I'd... you say it was? Brew tea? Kombucha, what? man. Kombucha. Kombucha. Oh, okay. That's the, that's the goodness. Yeah, right. I feel you. All right, buddy. That's what's up. That's what's so up. today, Paul and I want to talk about cultural competence. Um, what the heck is it? Why is it important? And what are some simple steps to help us raise our cultural competence? You've, you've probably heard or seen like one of the original concepts that brought us to this whole format was we did a training together around race and leadership and race and communication around race. Uh, and it was, tr it was powerful, it was transformative, and we, we both saw each other in different ways. And so we were inspired to do this. Uh, last week, we had a conversation around what has, what has been inspired in Paul from looking at Pride Month for LGBTQ community rights celebration and how that could be translated to or what desires are still there for Paul around Black Pride, right, African American Pride. And so we just want to keep on this topic today. So if you haven't noticed, the world is changing. The world's changing. And it is not going to get you very far if you do not do your work around at least expanding your awareness around difference, let alone get to the point of what you might call cultural competence. So let's get into this, Paul. You ready for it? Yeah, yeah, because everything is different nowadays, man. Everything it's not, is just yeah. different. I, people, right, who look, people who look like me can't get away with ignorance too long anymore. It's just not possible, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's um, do this, dude. Oh, Jack. All right, let's do this. So man. When, I, when, you hear the, when you hear the term cultural competence, what comes up for you? What do you think of? Forget about definitions in the dictionary. I know you want to look up Webster's and whatnot, <laughs> or Urban Dictionary maybe, but like, just what does that sound like for you? What, it com what do you think of? Uh, man, I think a wordplay. <laughs> okay. There's two. There's two. There's two concepts. Two separate concepts. It's like first of all, what's the culture, right? So it's like it could be any small group um, that has the same belief concept, and then right. competence is being able to manage or not even manage, but connect with and work with different cultures. Yeah. Like how we manage, how we connect with, how we um. Um, engage, integrate with different cultures and connect with them. So I, th that's what really comes to mind for me. Right. Something, how something we integrate. Yeah. 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 How about yeah. for you? Well, as you were saying that, it, it reminds me that really what we're talking about is intercultural competence. We're talking about competence when you're experiencing people of or from a culture that's not yours. Mm -hmm. um, or we could say, uh, taking your head out of your ass around difference. So, <laughs> or, or maybe out of the sand, right? Because some of us have this ostrich syndrome. So what it means, what I, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. What, what, what it, it means mean to for me is that I have some basic level of capacity to communicate with, to be around, to see, to feel, to hear, to understand people mm -hmm. that are different from me, culturally, ethnically, uh, whether we're talking about gender, whether we're talking about race, whether we're talking about uh, from different countries or continents or parts of the world or even parts of the city. I live right in D.C., in the middle of D.C. There's hugely different worlds between different parts of D.C. Okay. And how do I know my impact on others? Mm -hmm. How do I know when it's my turn to speak up, when it's my turn to be quiet, when it's my turn to learn and observe? Right. And, and, and as me coming from a position of not being in target groups, which AKA means cisgendered, hetero, middle-class white guy, um, I got some target groups. We don't need to bring them out right now. But it means that I am learning my impact on others mm -hmm. and I'm understanding my privilege in a way where it's not taking away from who I am and what I've done, but it's understanding it's time to share. It's time to expand. It's time to see the world more clearly. So that's a lot okay. of, I know I shared a lot. In yeah. There, so let, let, I, I want to, I want to, cause yeah, there was a lot in there. So your definition of 
and yeah. you're gonna call, you're gonna say intercultural competence, right? So what's your definition of intercultural competence? Yeah. How would you define it? So like if I were one to simplify sentences? it, simplify yeah, it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Damn it, Paul. Yes. Yes. You're messing. You're messing with my uh, culture here. You know, we like to talk <laughs> a lot. Um, so <laughs> if I <laughs> crazy man, all right, rock it. What, well, what is it? Okay, man? if I was gonna simplify it, yeah. it's the capacity to navigate complex situations between human beings and groups where there's multiple cultures engaged mm. and there's difference in the mix. That was tight. Okay. Uh, the yes. second sentence would be knowing my impact and, get, and having better clarity of how to lessen the negative impact and increase my positive impact on people mm. who don't look like me, think like me, speak like me, believe like me. Right. Thank yeah. you for that. Thank you. And for those that are watching, this is, it's, this is really important to note. Since I have yet to see a, a concrete definition of what these two distinct words are together, there are a lot of different interpretations. Uh, a lot of different, de there are a ton of definitions out there as to what this can be. So I, I what are your thoughts on, actually, you know what, let's do this, man. We talked about listing the competencies. Yeah. I, you and I both agree that there's uh, the culture, it's, whether it be cultural, intracultural, intercultural, it's a group of like minds, what, what, um, cult, racially, gender, um, orientation, that could be a group, uh, belief, thought, mm -hmm. I don't know. People that like transformers, that's yep. the culture, okay? Mm -hmm. People that like whatever, <laughs> okay? So we can agree on that. Let's dive into the competencies that people can start working on mm. that can fit into whatever definition somebody wants to have about, into, about cultural competence, whatever definition. I don't, yeah. we don't care. Like, we just care about what's in the roots. Well, I, right. Joe, do you care about I care about it. You care about that? What's well, I mean, I care about a lot of things, but yeah, well, yes. I care, about, I care I, about giving people some insight and some tools, right? In the time we have. So I'm down with that. So you want right, to list competencies? Yes. Okay, so cool. Top cool. three competencies. All okay. right. So let's, yeah. By all means, because I was just talking. So what's your first competency within this? I mean, number one, I think number one just has to be curiosity like having a curious mm. mind um, and to break that down in just a couple sentences, not believing that my worldview or my experience is everyone's experience, worldview or truth. And then wanting to actually enrich my life by knowing how other people see things, feel things, hear things, experience things. Mm. It's like a desire to know what it's like for others. Feeling it, feeling it. Yeah. And this is really interesting because that was one of my competencies, of curiosity. Mm -hmm. So I'm digging that competency because for me, for me, Joe, it's about being willing to learn something that's different from what I know in whatever scenario or situation. Because if I'm going into a different culture, if I'm experiencing a different culture, I get to be willing to, to understand and, and accept I don't know everything and I'm willing to learn. Yeah. That falls, that feeds into the impact you were talking about, how, how what we say and do are impact ourselves and impact another. It can fall into all that, how we, how we communicate, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Curiosity for the both of us, ding, ding, that's number right. one. What's your number two? Um, so number two for me, because I am coming from a certain perspective, Mm -hmm. I would actually say for people who look like me, who experience life like me, um, understand privilege. Like get yourself in a position where you are actually curious and educating yourself around privilege. Mm. Because that is the way that we've experienced the world. And it's a confronting concept for a lot of, I'm just going to say hetero white men. Mm. It's a confronting concept to think, about privilege, because wait a second, if I'm privileged, then you're telling me that I'm not good enough to have what I've received in life, which is not mm. true. That's a very 
black and white thinking of privilege, but mm -hmm. to understand it does some deep, deep work on learning about the other, but it also does some deep work on checking our own ego okay. to see the world more clearly. So the competency is understanding privilege? Yeah, like actually embracing the idea of learning and understanding privilege and understanding our own privilege. Okay, got it. Okay, got you. The lack of privileges that others walk around the world with. Ooh, got it. Okay. So my second competency is awareness, which I yeah. think feed, which, which my thinking is it feeds into what you're saying. Right. Um, awareness, in, in, from my definition here in the competency, includes uh, a, our actions, um, our tendencies, our thoughts, our beliefs, our... Um, our views of something, being aware, being aware and accepting of them, and um, which it feeds into my third, but the awareness is key because for us to know, for, for my thought is, and from my experience, for me to really be able to communicate with another, I get to be aware of where I am in the moment and in this specific space or whatever it is. That gives me the opportunity to be curious. That gives me the opportunity to learn and be able to share my perspective. So I think that's a, that's a, that is one of the keys or my second key um, within cultural competence. Number three, last one. Mm -hmm. What you got, man? What's up, Jeff? Yeah. What you got? Uh, courage to embrace mm. uncertainty, fear, and conflict. Mm. So, so I, I know that's a lot. You see how, you know how I roll. Uh, Yo, bro, baby, bro. You're going to ask me for one thing and I'm going to give you seven and call it one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's but, one part G. But it's courage. Part G. Courage yeah. because there's no easy, clean, or simple way to really develop true cultural competence. Mm. It will get messy. I like that. Courage. It will confront your sense of self. It will challenge you to see the world differently. It will actually most likely put you in misunderstandings with others mm -hmm. when you're trying to create deeper connection. This is it might, it'll probably cause conflict when you think you're doing a good thing mm. Mm. because of how unaware we have been in times of our impact and how, un how unaware we have been at times of what others experience. So, courage to know that it, it's time to do this and to do this it's going to get sloppy it's going to get messy you're going to have to face some fearful situations you are not fragile you will be okay you will learn you will grow you will get better and the world will get better truth man truth wow that's i like that one a lot i like that one a lot um my third is communication um and present communication uh, I have in, in quotes. Uh, this to me is, is, is important. This fits into the three, my three, which were curiosity, same as Joe, awareness, which you just talked about. My third is, is communication. This is an important piece of the cultural competence as well, because, or intercultural competence, however, whatever the definition we have of it, because for, for us to, be, to know where we are and then be able to communicate effectively and in the present moment, um, be able to communicate with another in a way that has them understand, um, first of all, our perspective and has them open up possibilities that we can create something new, we can collaborate to, to do something new. We, we talk about, um, from my experience, in the, the, the cultural or the intercultural competence is spoken of in terms of, well, okay, we got to do this so we all get along. And in reality, it's about getting along and it's also about creating. Um, it's a space where we get to create something really unique and special by pulling in all the differences of different cultures, right? And then working together in a way that creates something distinct, something new. So right. that is my third one, the communication. Um, loving what we did just now. Do yeah. <laughs> do well, I want loving. to communicate this, man. I love yeah. the way you just expressed that. Because you gave the deepest, most powerful why. Why is this important? Because I think we were going to talk about why is it important to develop, but we, we got excited. Right. What you just said was the most amazing thing out there. 
a lot of the time people are looking at this the way we've been taught by like the HR world or the litigious society we have. So you got to learn this stuff to stay out of trouble. Let me forget people who look like me, right? You got to learn mm -hmm. to stay out of trouble. You got to learn this so you don't get, um, you know, yep. what do you call it? like uh, lawsuits and this and that, especially if you're an employer of any sort or if you're a leader in any position, whether it be community or religious leader, or whether it be in your, you own a company or you're an executive director, whatever it may be. Right. But the reality is that fear-based motivation doesn't get us very far. Now, right. a creation-based or improvement-based or love-based, as I would call it, motivation, which is we do better shit, we make better things right. when there's diversity of interest and ideas and realities going into the pot, the stew that we are going to feed the world with, right? So like- Can I get a vent? That's yes. it right there. Yes. Can we flip the script from saving ourselves to thriving? Yes. From survival yes. to thrive. I mean, that's been like my big thing recently, especially you've seen me do all this writing around uh, becoming a badass after divorce. The right. first thing is like, we got to switch this idea from surviving to thriving. Right. So yes. cultural competence helps me, whether it be in community, whether it be in my relationship. Because by the way, I think we're both in intercultural relationships. Yes. Right? On many levels. Yep. Or whether it be in my business, I will make a better experience. I'll make a better product. I'll make a better service. I'll make a better love life. I'll make a better family. I'll make a better community if I develop these competencies and I learn to communicate and I'm courageous and I'm curious, um, you know, and I'm, I'm, I have the awareness or mindfulness to experience things in a new way. So that was awesome. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, wow. brother. Yeah. It, I, I, man, so let's wrap this up because yep. I, what we did here, this was really powerful. We had, let's do the quick rundown. We both had curiosity for the first one. Yep. Um, I had awareness for my second. Your second was what Courage. again? Courage to face Courage. conflict, uncertainty, discomfort. Excellent. My third one was communication, and your third was? Uh, my third one, wait, which one was it? I forgot to write this one down. You had the second, oh, the one that you, uh, you also, you didn't mention the privilege, man. Understand Oh, privilege. that's right. That Embrace was the second under, one that you had. That was my second one. That's why I forgot. Yep. Embrace and understand privilege. Actually, like, look at it as a privilege to learn about it and not yes. uh, a punishment. Yes, man, listen, Joe. So everyone that's watching, we want to hear from you. What, what are your thoughts about what this definition is, what the competencies are that we spoke about? Or hey, shoot, did we forget one that you think is important? Put it in the comments, reach out to us. The yeah. our information is at the end of this. You have our info, you have our websites. Connect with us, let's have a discussion. Let's start to really embrace what this can be. Yeah. And I'm good with that. Joe, any last words before we wrap this bad boy, put a bow on uh, it? I'll just say like, what's just within like a couple of sentences, what's one thing that we rec recommend people do to start the journey or to develop the journey. Um, mm, okay. Uh, I will say this, uh, the easiest way, and I don't recommend you start here, or I don't reckon you end here, but you got to start here, start mm -hmm. to educate yourself. Um, read books, listen to podcasts, read articles, online publications um, from people that are of different backgrounds than you. Mm. There's so much out there right now. I've done all this work on, me on men's work and men's emotional development, men's psychology. A book that blew my mind that I read last year was a book by Bell Hooks, who is a woman of color, who's a feminist. And she wrote a book about men and men's emotions and capacity to love. Changed my world amongst other things yeah. got you man all right my man wow um uh, my my I, I'm, I'm right now i gotta look into her <laughs> my takeaway is uh know yourself mm. know oneself know what you're thinking what you like what are your thoughts like don't shy away from it thinking bad or this or that right know what's happening because when when we can know ourselves then we can educate ourselves and we can do all these things not just with ourselves, but also with others. So know yourself, get the, pick up a mindfulness or visualization practice, breath work practice. Journal. That's your first yeah, step, journal, yeah. whatever it is. Take time yourself, like dive into your thoughts, write them down, sing them out. It doesn't matter. 
do what's necessary to get to know yourself and you know, let's wrap this bad boy up all right joe until next time thank you man all right be well everybody all right Got it, man. Peace. Bye.